Hey guys, welcome back to Parker's Tutorials. This week we're going to be building a laser gun. Oh yeah. Let's get started. Here's what you're going to need for this build. 1 inch PVC pipe and a 1 inch PVC end cap, a hot glue gun, a Dremel, miscellaneous wheels from old toy cars, pliers, miscellaneous nuts and bolts, rivets, a riveter, plumber's epoxy, I use the fix it stick, and miscellaneous hardware. First, take your old saw and cut off the handle. It should be attached using nuts and bolts like mine was. Make sure you put the saw blade somewhere safe when you're done removing the handle. You don't want to hurt yourself or someone else. My grip has this front part, which I cut off so the handle would look like this. Then I sanded down all the rough edges, and you should have something that looks similar to this. Next, take your PVC pipe and cut it down to size. I cut mine to around 6 or 7 inches. Drill a small hole through the PVC and in the handle. Then, use a long screw to securely attach the handle to the PVC pipe. Next, attach a PVC end cap to the back of the gun. Okay, so instead of uh, using the two car wheels, I went out and bought a PVC end cap, which will look more like the original design of the gun. I then took a piece of metal strip and drilled two holes in both the PVC and metal strip. Then I attached to the top of the PVC using two small rivets. To make the trigger guard, I used a toy car tire and estimated where I wanted the top and bottom to be. Then I cut the wheel and hot glued it into place. Next I drilled two evenly spaced holes on the both sides of the handle and attached two rivets to give it some detail. Next I used plumber's epoxy and used it to fill in any holes or minor imperfections in the handle of the gun. Let it dry and sand smooth. Next we're going to work on the secondary blaster. Cut a piece of metal pipe around 5 inches and just using random pieces of junk I found in my basement. I assumed it looks something like a blaster. Then I attached it to the gun on the metal strip we attached earlier. I used two Lego squares and hot glue to attach it. Then I used more plumber's epoxy to smooth out the secondary blaster where needed. I had some rough patches that need filling and some parts that needed a little extra sculpting. When it's dry, use sandpaper or a rotary tool to make it smooth. When building the main blaster of the gun, I used random wheels from old toy cars, a big spring from some old toy, and some Lego pieces and assembled them as shown. I wanted to go for a sci-fi look, so try your best to make it look futuristic. The assembly of the whole gun should look a little something like this. I trimmed the barrel and used an old speaker to attach the main blaster to the main body of the gun. Next, give all the parts a paint color of your choice. I chose my gun to be silver and black. Next, use Haku to assemble everything and you are done. What do you want, Mustafa? Where's the new Digital Revolution video, Parker? <laughs> Mustafa, think about what you're doing to yourself. Think about what you're doing to your best friend. Where's the video, Parker? What video? The Digital Revolution video, Parker. Are you kidding me? That video is up right now. Really? Yes. Really. Do you want to go check it out? Truce? Taking over your show, bitch. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Parker's Tutorials. Now, remember, this gun is just my personal preference design. You don't even have to have the secondary blaster up here on top or the big spring. But what you do need is creativity. And don't forget, click down on the down bar and you'll be taken to my Facebook page where you can see behind the scenes photos and secret updates from me. Leave a comment down below telling me what your ray gun is going to have. And I'll see you next week with a brand new episode. Bye everyone.